today's episode, we are going to tackle the brake master cylinder, otherwise known as the hydraulic brake booster assembly. If you were to get this done at the dealer, this is going to run you $2,500 to $3,000, depending on the dealer. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap in a Lexus SC430, which is a slightly larger unit, into my second gen Lexus GS. Here's the sound you're listening for. Right here. That sound. What's that sound? Do you hear it? It's a funny squeaky sound. Now, if you decide to go with a used unit like I did, you're gonna wanna probably take off this reservoir and thoroughly clean the inside out. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. And after we take out these fasteners, we should be able to pull this reservoir off. There we go. That's what it looks like. There we go, guys. This is what the top of the brake master cylinder looks like with the reservoir off. I'm going to go ahead and tilt it, tip it over and let it drain fully. Those cleaned up really nice. Look at that, it, it's actually working really well. As you can see, I created a little mixture of Dawn soap and some power wash. And I'm gonna take this reservoir, dunk this thing in here, and I'm just gonna let it sit in there, probably overnight. Okay, I'm just gonna let it set there overnight. I'm plugging these holes with my fingers and I'm just shaking this inside the reservoir. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add some rubbing alcohol inside of there and swish it all around. Got the fender cover on. I've got the strut bar up and out of the way. I'm gonna start in on this fluid and we'll go from there. Let's just suck this fluid out of the reservoir. Well, as you can see, the Mighty Vac is working really well. This is about my third tank here, and I'm gonna keep on going until I can get most of this out of the reservoir. Okay, so we have pretty good access here. We're gonna get this pin off the brake pedal. And then one, two, three, four up there. Nuts, this nut in the upper right behind that bracket is gonna be the hardest to get to. This is a pretty good way to reach the most difficult nut. A long extension, three eighths, to a swivel, to a deep 12 millimeter socket. There we go. So I don't know how much fluid is gonna come oozing out of this thing. Make sure you have a towel. Okay, cool. Let's see what's on this one. Nope, nothing. Okay, well these two shouldn't have much come out, guys. Just a little bit, just a couple drops. Hey, here's a quick caution for you guys. You know, when you take this pin out, your brake pedal is gonna fall and it's gonna activate the switch for your brake lights. See that? So they're stuck on right now and I'm not touching it. 
hopefully you would notice that but if you're out in the you know driveway during the day or something you may not see that and it'll drain your battery you could pull the negative i suppose or you could wedge something underneath it to make sure it's not on that switch that's kind of what i'm doing here and now the brake lights are off if you got an sc430 or a different brake master cylinder than the gs1 you're going to notice that on that unit, that used unit that you picked up, it has a triangular three-prong connection here for the pressure sensor. And that means you're going to need to take this one out and switch it over to the unit that's going in. Oh, there we go. There we go. But anyway, now we should be able to get this socket Yep, right on there. my existing pressure sensor so you can guys can see the difference here I'm gonna go ahead and put the impact gun on a low setting and see if I can spin this on pretty well and then we'll check the torque All right, off camera, I just went ahead and torqued this to 60. All right, it's time to work on the reservoir. So we're gonna go ahead and put these back in. Two of them are the same size and one of them is small. And then the reservoir is gonna plug right in there and we get the reservoir fastened on. Okay. And a couple back here. Me too. Okay, it's all set and ready to go in. As you can see, the new unit is in. The biggest difficulty is this driver's side front hard line right here. Uh, it kind of gets hung up on the bottom there, so you might need an assistant to hold it out of the way and then to loop it under once you get this unit up in here. And I'm gonna start getting those um, nuts at the firewall secured. using high temperature synthetic dot three fluid. I'm gonna have an assistant get into the vehicle, pump the brake pedal, maybe two times and then hold about halfway down and I'm going to break the connection on each one of these hard lines at the master cylinder itself. I'm going to do that process times four and what I'm hoping to do there is to eliminate the air pockets that are probably inside that unit and then from there when all the lines are reconnected we're going to start the actual bleed process and I'll walk you through those steps. So you can use a block of wood or similar I just basically bungee corded this thing on here. And what you're trying to do is prevent your assistant from overstroking the pedal. So I just have this on here. So if the person gets a little overzealous with their pumping, it just hits.
Okay, pump three times and then hold. And tell me when you're holding. Holding. Holding? Yep. The next part of this process is to pump the pedal 40 times with the ignition off. Now at this point you want to reset the ABS ECU and the easiest way to do that is to pull the negative battery cable. I already had mine off and I just put it back on. So in essence I've reset the system. Oh, there goes the fluid. Now I'm going to pump the pedal with the ignition on 20 times. That's your warning buzzer. Yep. Okay. That's all to plan. Next. Again. Still holding. Pump and hold. We're on the driver's side now. All right, pump and hold. Again. Again, again, checking the fluid now. We've moved to the passenger rear. We're gonna let the ABS pump do the work. You actually shouldn't have to have someone pump the pedal. The ABS pump should just naturally do it. I'm still holding. Yep. Okay, release. All right, driver's side rear, here we go. Go ahead and push. Okay, push. Okay, you can see we, well, I'll tell you, we went through, I'm gonna say two bottles of brake fluid. Good guys, job well done. Oh man, that stopped so much better. Wow. I think my old braking system was just shot and this SC430 BMC works awesome. It's very quiet, no more cats squealing inside the engine bay. So I've got some cool episodes coming up I wanna tell you about. I've got a radiator that's gonna be going in. I'm gonna walk you through that process. 
and a whole slew of other ideas for upcoming videos. So if you're not a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, drop a like, drop a comment. I appreciate your support and see you on the next episode. Thank you.